Hey, how's it going everybody? Lethal One here. Welcome back to Kuan Oktoberfest. Now I'm super excited. We last left off. We destroyed the Lord of the Manor. I think we're trapped in here though. Oh wait, no we're not. I knew he was gonna get back up. I knew it. Or... Okay, well, we're not going back. That's one thing for sure. <laughs> um, yeah, I wasn't expecting that. So we can go ring that bell and Ayoko would trust us and let us in. Well, she ain't gonna let us in, but she better give us those demon spikes because we need them. That's the only way we can progress. I'm scared. I just feel like new stuff is gonna happen. Her eyes were looking at some. Uh, maybe I'm too paranoid. Wait, that's new. Yeah, these blood splatters are new. Door, the door. Oh no, what happened in there? This door was locked at first. <laughs> Guess we're gonna have to investigate. Why am I doing this to myself? Hello? There is a body in here now. The corpse of Agaki has been tossed in here. Looks like it was defeated in battle. By who? Who's going around defeating Agaki? What is that? I hear footsteps. Let me make sure. Well, I, I don't have my knife out. This was a setup. What the heck are you? So these guys aren't evil. Well, maybe they are evil. Oh, goodness. That's super aggressive. We got these guys hunting a god key. And I'm hunting them. All right. Too bad he didn't drop anything. I can make my way back now. Just like before, I'm out of items. It's going to be coming down to me using a knife again. They're trying to stop me from getting in contact with Ayako. Oh, I got a bad feeling about this. I'm just bracing myself because I, I I got a feeling that the little jump scares. Oh. Blood splatter though. I mean, those guys, we should be working together, honestly. I don't know why they come after me. Right. The door won't open because I didn't ring the bell. It's not even safe for me to ring the bell. We set an Ayako up. Grab her. What happened to Korea? Like Korea didn't do anything. She just. I, I sense an evil, a presence wanting to devour souls. I. I have no idea, but for some time now, I've, I've been hearing a song at nightfall, and disease has spread through this place, the hungry, they roam the manor at night, then, oh, when I hear that song, I fear I'll be killed, or worse, abducted. We found you. Oh gosh, that's creepy as hell. No! They killed her? Oh 
no. I knew it. We said, I just, I was just saying it. Silkworm Journal, Volume 2, Records of the Silkworm, kept by Mia Shim Shimuro. I gotta get used to saying that. June 27th, the silkworms have lost their fur. The bodies are beautiful, shiny, and translucent. I'm worried, though. Some of them seem weak. They don't move at all. June 28th, Maya Shimuro told me that the silkworms that don't move are just sleeping and that I don't need to worry. So silkworms sleep, too. July 4th, Independence Day. I noticed that the silkworms had grown when I looked at them this morning. Though only a few days have passed, they've doubled in size. They grow much faster than people. Maya Shimoros has been so kind to me. I must give him something. I wonder what he'd like. July 5th. I'm going to teach Maya Shimuro to read and write. I tried to give him a little sword father gave me, but he wouldn't accept it. He's not at all greedy. Some of the silkworms don't eat very much. They're just like him. July 10th. The silkworms have shed their skins many times and continue to grow. They're all so different. Some of them lift up their heads and look around as though they were thinking, while others crawl all around all day. A few have died. July 18th. The silkworms do nothing but devour mulberry leaves all day. They've grown so fast, I'm worried they'll burst out of their skins. Maya Shamuro saith they'll be cocoons soon. Okay, I don't know why Aoko was reading that. But as I was saying before I started reading that, I th we, we set her up, we opened the door, we made her open the door, and that's the last demon spike. So now I gotta go all the way back to the beginning of the game insert that spike in those wooden plates and avoid the evil that's all out here now i still don't get the purpose of those kids i know what korea is she's a demon but the kids seem to be running the show i'm actually really scared to run because of the ghost but let's make this I gotta grow some thick skin. There's still some seals in the doors, like this door right here, for instance. All those talisman, I'm gonna have to come back and go through there. That's pretty. That's pretty interesting, though. Like, why do they want the girl alive anyway? Why do we keep hearing stories about the silkworms? Why so many damn questions, Lethal One? Okay, everything is the same. Who are those people, though? My guess is that those people that attacked me earlier, they're like another faction that are demon hunters. Maybe they don't know that I'm a normal person. Oh, hello, Mr. Gaki. I mean, it has to be that way because why are the two sides? Why would they be fighting? You know, like there, there might be two war, or two fights. But I'm gonna go ahead and save it right quick. Be weary, be very weary. Now this part is always gonna make me nervous because of this blood here. But nothing may never happen. Yeah, made it through, no problem. But I know those kids wanna stop me. So this is where I would expect for an attack to be. Okay, well, this is where the thing jumped into the water originally anyway. Got no time to walk, we gotta move. Finally, I should have saved it here. What a waste. Let's see if I can figure this out. I'm gonna operate the device. Oh, wait a minute. There was a clue to this. There was definitely a clue. So the silkworm. I'm assuming the silkworm would be kind of down here. The crow? 
I'm assuming we'll be down here too. Uh, I mean, I don't have a choice but to put it here. Nothing happened. A spike and a disc obtained. Let's try this again. Maybe we should put the silkworm at the top. I'll put the crow down here. And then I'll put the old disc here. The device seems detached. Oh boy, here we go. It leads down. Yes, we're gonna go down. All I got is my knife. This looks like hell. All right, at least we got some Habari. Are we? Where the heck? Looks like we're inside of a body almost. The way the walls looks like flesh a little bit. Or maybe that's just the way the coloring. I don't know. All I, I wish I had a better lantern though. It's really, really dark. Looks like we're coming upon a door. Oh, there's the rope. Oh no. This leads to those other guys, those really strong guys. I was just thinking about that rope. We got a map. Get it, man. That dude, yeah, he can sing. Let me double check. I want to make sure that I have weapons that I can take the, these singing buttholes down. All right, there may be hope for me yet. I'm about your album, bro. Silk, silk all over the place. Oh no, 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 no. So this is the first time that I, let me just go ahead and heal because my control is vibrating heavy. I can't see a hungry wanderer, wanderer the other side. Hey man. Oh, you can't even tell that was a door. So there's hungry wanderers around here. That is a silkworm. A bloody cocoon blocks the path. Something is ringing inside it. I, to I told y'all that the silkworms had a major, major uh, impact on the story. Now it's confirmed. It's some kind of silkworm worship. Luckily from the book that we read, a lot of the silkworms have died. Thank goodness. That's kind of mean to say, but I don't want to have to deal with them. So I came from there. This is a mess. Maybe I should have unsealed that door first. Uh oh. Yeah, I should have. Go away. Hurry. Before the cocoon takes you. But never mind me. I've had a good life. Watch out for the sick. If they don't merge with other creatures soon, they will die. Corpses are needed for their cocoons. Man, what a horrible way to die. Medicine jar, medicine jar protected by Yakushi, the healer. 
Did I read about him in one of those? I don't think so. His head has been twisted all the way around. Maybe we can give him a sensu bean or something and it'll be okay. Oh wait, that's that's another story. All right, we got the medicine jar. We got a clue as to what's going on. The cocoons, or I should say the silkworms have to merge with people or they'll die. And that makes a lot of sense because of the story of them eating the leaves didn't keep them alive. These are alien cocoons. All right, here we go. Not feeling too confident about what's behind this door. Good. We got stuff. Sacred exorcism. Oh, scroll exorcism. Long ago, a demon did emerge from the bowels of Earth. It appeared human, but was three meters tall with arms as thick as a woman's waist. Mm. The demon was immortal. Neither swords nor fire could kill it. One day a man appeared. He was emaciated and cloth in rags. To the people who were at their wits end, he said, I will drive that demon away. The people took one look at the pitiful looking figure and turned away saying, you would be a fool to embark upon such an enterprise. The man ignored the people's attempts to stop him. With a hint of a smile on his face, he approached the demon's lair. He pulled a spike from the folds of his clothing and threw it at the demon, penetrating its flesh, riveting it to a wall. Nailed to the wall, the demon shriveled up and died after several days and seven nights, I'm sorry, after seven days and seven nights of agony. The man explained to the people that the spikes have the power to suppress demons. He gave them three spikes to use should the demon reappear and, de and departed. The grateful people placed the spikes in a small shrine in the temple where they have been preserved ever since. So that's the purpose of the spikes. Some dirty bum actually defeated a demon. The people didn't even believe in him. Priest Journal, Volume 1, well-written journal by the eldest priest or the elder priest. All right, for several days now, strange sounds have been emanating from the ground under my feet. At first I thought I was imagining them, but I hear them even more clearly at night when I sleep. They're very strange, perhaps a cross between agony and pleasure. They say a creature emerged from the bowels of the earth and that the temple was built to prevent it from proceeding any further. Perhaps the creature has awakened underneath this temple and is howling. If it has been trapped there for years, no wonder its scream sounds so sad. Well, I have no love for demons. So therefore, I don't care. Ooh. Okay, a winter blade. We're gonna equip that. I'm gonna... Why? Just why? This is the wrong time to be wasting spells. So I'm gonna keep my spells equipped. And when we run out. Something tells me those kids are up to something. They went this away. Do we go back towards the cocoon? I kind of think so. That actually hurt me really bad. I really can't tell how much it hurt me. Hey, you little... Nothing's happening. I'm gonna go back over here. I don't know what those kids are so happy about. Yeah, all right, so I'm gonna head back towards that cocoon. Perhaps the kids were there to just taunt me. They're gone. I think the cocoon is this way.
Oh, it's just a gaki. I ain't worried about you no more. Okay, I'm a little worried. Stop trying to give me hugs. I hate that. Oh my goodness. How many are you gonna take, man? I wasn't even trying to do that. So it's good to know you can actually use your fireball when they're down too. Which way do I go? My gut tells me go left first. Somebody's in here. Summon card, Kagatsu Ona, puppet woman, obeying her master's orders. Cool. That's just what I needed. I would also like to save it too, because I'm scared. I don't want to like lose all my progress. There, she is here. Getting tired of you dragging these silkworm boxes. Who is it? Where is it? Luckily, they songs don't affect me. There's so many different ways to go. I'm gonna go here because it's closer. Please. There's something in here, I bet. Let's read this first. That's the guy that just died. The Buddha Emerald Light, the master of medicine, he is the deity who heals the sick. He has a merciful look on his face and holds a medicine jar in his left hand. I think I picked up the medicine jar and now I know to put it in the left hand. There's nothing useful. Are you serious? Okay, I'm gonna go here first. This place is a huge maze. Yes, yes. I'm gonna save it real quick. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and push forward because I am dying to know what's up with that lady. Very fortunate that I decided to go that way first. All right, look for the Buddha statue. When those kids really decide to attack, I'm gonna be really scared. The door is opened. Before we go to that open door, because I like to mess around and waste time, there was nothing here. Okay, let's go. Oh no, I don't like the looks of this. The Buddha statue has to be here, right? Because like, look out all the other statues and I'm stuttering because I'm scared. In his left hand, give him the jar. The medicine jar was placed in his hand. What's happening? What's going on? It's going to collapse. <laughs> Let me just check the room before I go down any further. Kind of feels like there's something. Oh. No, I don't. I don't care about that. Yes, we got our spider buddies. Spider buddies. They're kind of useless, but they're good for body blocking. Plus, I need somebody to keep me company. <laughs> A spider to keep you company. Pain seller. Yeah, this is somebody's insides, and here we go with that obscure camera angle. 
This one is sealed with what? Mars? Which way do I go? I just seen a creepy lady. Is that blood? Why is my heart beating so fast? I wish I could turn the vibration off. The controller is just... We got holy water. Okay, so the corpse here appears to have been a astrologer. This is a book here. Silkworm Journal, Volume 3, Bloodstained, Record of the Silkworm's Growth. July 21st, I ran into the elder priest when I went to the shrine to get some mulberry leaves. He looked at the worms and said, these are normal silkworms, unlike those found at the shrine. I wonder if that's true. July 24th, I went to the temple to get mulberry leaves again today. The elder priest wasn't there, but Mia Shamuro said, it, said he saw the twins. I didn't see them, but I know he would not lie. When I returned to the shrine, the silkworms had started spinning cocoons. July 27th, the cocoons just sitting there. Nothing is happening. I shook them because I was afraid they were dead. They made a rattling sound. Maya Shamuro laughed and said they'll hatch soon enough. July 30th, the moths have come out at last. After watching them for a while, I've decided that it's cruel to shut them up in a box. I was going to take them outside and let them go, but Mayor Shamuro stopped me. He said they can't survive outside. August 5th, they all died as soon as they laid their eggs. Why do they have wings if they can't fly? Oh, that's pretty sad. Yeah, we can't even... Can we break that? Maybe that's what the Mars seal was. Uh-oh. I'm lost. So that's the same seal that's very early in the game near the other temple. I don't know where the heck we're going to get one. Okay. Okay. Camera. I wasn't expecting this. A silkworm dude. See how strong the knife is now. The winter blade is just about as useful as the other blade, to be honest. Oh my goodness. Well, at least I got it stun locked. I don't think I can kill this thing. Look how many hits it's taking. Yeah, go back into your cocoon, fool. Don't ever come out again. I hope there's not another one here. Is, there, is this a path? Open up. So the winter blade has a freezing effect to it. That makes me feel a lot better actually. Well, we do have the Mars now. Unfortunately, I don't know any doors that has a Mars seal to it. I guess we'll be back here at some point too. Oh crap, finally. Watch your back, girl. Don't turn around. <laughs> what happened? Who is that? Is that Korea? That doesn't look like Korea. Unless she mutated. You need it again, don't you? Need what? We're back underground. 
Am I in the box? Oh no! So that's how they capture people. Are we infected? hope not all I see is a save point <laughs> I mean she looks pale but she always looked that way she's a little dizzy something's wrong you better go tell your daddy all right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. When we when we come back, we're going to explore this underground uh, cave that looks like blood and veins. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up and come back for the next exciting episode. Till next time. Peace.